Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And folks, you know, I was thinking about the most important Brooklyn company ever created. And I came up with a lot of them. I came up with uh, Entenmann's was a good one. Uh, so many, uh, Drake's was really popular. But when I really think about the one that had the most long-lasting reach that's still around today, it's probably been uh, Boar's Head. Now, Boar's Head was founded in Brooklyn in 1905 by a guy named Frank Brunkhorst. And I'll show you his picture right here. This is a picture of Frank Brunkhorst uh, from early on back in probably 1900s and something and basically the reason I'm standing outside of Publix right now is because it's very significant a lot of people don't realize that Boar's Head was founded in Brooklyn in 1905 but in 2001 they actually shifted their location their headquarters from Brooklyn over to Sarasota Florida and the reason they did that was because of this right behind me Publix supermarket Public Supermarket has an exclusive deal with Boar's Head to serve their products, to sell their products. They make amazing sandwiches here in Publix, and in a few minutes I'm gonna take you in and show you some of their amazing uh, products. You know, a lot of people don't realize that they sell mustard and ketchup, and they sell all kinds of different flavorings, and there's all kinds of low sodium choices. So, another amazing company started in Brooklyn, so stay tuned, I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, see you inside of Publix. So quickly, you say to yourself, why would Boar's Head move their headquarters down to Florida? Well, the reason being is that Publix actually has currently 1,252 locations around uh, Florida and, you know, a little bit in Georgia. So it's very significant. And when you think about it, a lot of the supermarkets now, of course, even though Boar's Head is very popular in New York and it's obviously extremely popular, a lot of the supermarkets in New York have their own brands. But Publix here doesn't carry any other off brands. All their stuff is Boar's Head. So 1,252 supermarkets and growing is a very big reason why. So I'm here in celebration. Like I said, I'm gonna take you inside and I'm gonna show you some of the products inside there. Of course, folks, anyone who's been to a Publix in Florida or anywhere knows that how nice the Publix really are. And they're just absolutely beautiful. Like the one here in celebration, you can see behind me is just stunning. I mean, it's beautiful, it's clean. I mean, no knock on our Brooklyn supermarkets, but some of them are in older buildings, and you know, we do what we can in Brooklyn, and uh, we have the older buildings, and Florida, they have the luxury of building with space and all that. So I wanna show you um, some of the exclusive stuff that they do at Publix, just in case you've never been here. And uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, deli counter, of course. So just an example of some exclusivity that Boar's Head does is, you don't really see these things pretty much in New York as much as you would here. And like I was telling you, in uh, over here, they do it all exclusive. Like you'll see right here, they'll do the Boar's Head and uh, proudly featuring Boar's Head products. Now, if you look through all these products here, I mean, you're talking about all kinds of cheeses, all kinds of stuff that, that they have. And nowadays with the, with the different kind of diets, it's just, you can get everything here. You can get low salt uh, chicken, turkey. They have all these rotisserie brands, um, all the old favorites. You got the deluxe ham, which is one of my favorites. And here's the Boar's Head symbol. You could also do all kinds of catering that they do here. Look at this. What I love about Publix is that they give you the slicing guide and you can do like the shaved, the very thin, thin cut, sandwich cut, or even a dinner cut. And it even tells you here a little scale, just in case you're not sure what, what is enough for what. Half a pound, two pounds, one pound. What's amazing too is that they do all of these ready-made Boar's Head products that they make right here. Look at that. Grab and go sandwiches, turkey. Uh, what I'm gonna do too is uh, they, um, they have usually a couple of nice commercials. Oh, you know what? Which I'll tell you my favorite story of all time as a kid was when Boar's Head did a contest. They were naming uh, a, like a wild boar and I think it was in the 70s, and if, you, if, you, if they picked the name of the wild boar that you picked, uh, you got to either get the boar live on the hoof, or you could get him, you know, cut up and, as meat. And of course, me being a kid, I wanted him live on the hoof. So the idea was, it was uh, because their symbol was the boar, if you gave the name and they picked the name uh, for that contest and you won, you got to choose it. So I thought up a really, really great name and it was a name that was kind of popular during the 70s, I guess, but they never picked it. But I thought it was fabulous because the boar was always like tough looking and all that. I'll show you a picture of him right here. But the name that I put in was Machismo, and I thought that was a perfect name for the boar. 
and I don't, I don't recall what one won, but um, it wasn't me, but it would have been great. My father thought I was crazy for uh, wanting to win a wild boar on the hoof because we had two dogs at the time. And I just told my father, hey, you know, I'll just put him in the backyard. He'll be okay. He goes, what are you talking about? He'll, he'll kill the two dogs. I'm like, no, he won't. I'll keep him separated. All right, so here we go. I'm going to get one of these with the rotisserie chicken. I'm going to do some fixings in there. This is like the setup over here. It's gonna be really, really too. Any lettuce? Yeah, I'll do some lettuce. Why not? And you cut them all, right? Yeah. That's nice. It'll give you a little bird's eye view here, how things are made. If you guys aren't hungry now, you're gonna be hungry when you see it. Look at globs of mayo. I'm taking a video of this for my friends in Brooklyn. I'm the, sorry. I'm taking a video for my friends in Brooklyn. Oh yeah. Yeah. Say hi. hi. Uh, Winter Terrace, Park Slope. Okay, I'm from Crown Heights. Oh, Crown Heights, awesome. There you go. Whereabouts in Crown Heights? Um, uh, right over there on St. Mark's, between Ocean and Brooklyn. Oh, nice. I used to bowl over there. I used to bowl on um, Diplomat Lanes. Oh, okay. On, on Snyder Avenue. Right, right, right. Oh, my God. Diplomat, I'm old, you know, but. <laughs> yeah, I used to go to Gil Hodges all the time. Oh, I love Gil Hodges Lanes. So I just wanted to show you how beautiful the sandwich turned out. Look at this. So I got banana peppers on there. That's tomatoes, rotisserie's chicken. Um, you got some mayonnaise underneath there. And the, the bread is not New York bread, but it's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. So uh, here you go. I just wanted to show you the finished product on that, which worked out really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed that video, folks. I'll see you next time on the next video. And you know, I'm gonna put up a picture right now of Boar's Head, 24 Rock Street, where it started in Brooklyn. And um, Boar's Head today makes over $1.5 billion a year. And let me tell you, that's not a lot of baloney. That's the truth. So this is Al signing off from Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. Please subscribe if you like the video. Drop me a like, drop me a shout. And what's your favorite sandwich? I showed you mine tonight. So let me know what yours is. See you on the next video, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.